sometimes we hear you and not the baby. If I can't find it, I'll just have you go for another ultrasound, okay? Okay. Sometimes it's just so hard when it's this early. Can I press him too hard? No. no.
trust my mom. Okay. You can Hi guys. Good evening and welcome back to our channel, Family Dispark channel. So tonight guys, uh, I want to share you something. My stories. My story based on my experience earlier on my uh, prenatal check up on my OB Jain uh, OB Gaini and then I don't know it's my pronunciation is correct but yeah it's my prenatal check up earlier and then what happened is I walk into the room and together with my midwife midwife there uh, she asked me this uh, she asked me about my uh, my information about my first pregnancy and then she proceeded to have a test of me like pap smear, swab test and also um, she's going to uh, have an ultrasound for the heartbeat so that's what happened there and then she told me that my last pap smear on my first pregnancy is came out abnormal defined they found an abnormal cell on me so instead i'm redoing it last year i miss it so they redo it today and then since it's really needed for my second pregnancy and then what happened guys is I shock a little bit earlier because when we do the ultrasound the baby has no heartbeat or she said that she, I can't find the heartbeat so she she rushed me to schedule an appointment or to schedule right away for an ultrasound to find out if is the baby is still good inside my baby so that's what happened so I'm I'm worried guys. I'm so worried. I'm waiting there. I'm waiting there inside my room maybe for almost 15 minutes of waiting and then I message my husband that My husband is not allowed inside. So I am only the one to be inside the uh, OB Obigaini room for my pernata check up So what happened is my husband is waiting they're not allowing him to read inside, so he's reading outside in the parking lot. So I inform him because he need to work tonight, so he need to get more sleep. So I inform him that um, I I can I'm I'm staying longer than we expected because they can't find the baby's heartbeat. So he's a little bit worried and trying to see why, what happened, blah, blah, blah. You have already ultrasound the other Friday. So yeah, she, my midwife told me the record that all the, the ultrasounds is doing good. Like my, our baby is doing good. But today what happened is she can find the heartbeat. So she want me to rush into an ultrasound again to make sure that the baby is good. So yeah, long story. I go to my ultrasound. And oh my god guys, I, I'm I can have a lot of things going on in my mind like please please um all our all the what all the mothers do like keep praying that our baby's inside is doing good. So I'm nervous to know or something like bad happened but yeah and then later on I go to the ultrasound room and then the girl met me there she said oh I, I just saw you last Friday and then you're here again but I understand they call me here to redo your ultrasound because they can't they cannot find that baby it's a heartbeat so yeah she should do an ultrasound there and I keep saying please please tell me that our baby is doing good like I don't want I don't want that there is something bad happened inside of my baby so she said no don't worry uh, sometimes tw I'm 12 weeks and 6 days now so she said that sometimes on this age our early age of pregnancy 
mostly you can it's really hard to find the baby's heartbeat so that's what happened so i feel like she comforted me a little bit and then she says just breathe and then just lay down and then we're gonna check up your baby and then yeah that's what happened like i'm just laying down there and then she's checking up my uh ultrasound my belly in the monitor screen i'm looking on it and i saw the baby's heart pumping like and she said oh your baby's good and, oh thank you lord like that's what i pray for like my baby's doing good because we're praying this for a long time and i didn't want that there's something happen bad so she said that nothing to worry so it's normal like they cannot find the heartbeat because of my early age of pregnancy so she said that your heartbeat uh, your baby's heartbeat is normal it's 165 so that's that's a good thing so i feel relief like i feel like thank you so much like i feel so relieved to know that so I was going, uh, my husband calling me because he's worried, like, who's not gonna worry when your midwife told you that she can, she can find the heart bed, so, you know, so he's worried about what happened because especially he's, he's not inside with me, so I, I walk into the car and I told him, like, don't worry, nothing bad happened, our baby is good, so th the midwife can can't only find the baby's heartbeat but in the ultrasound the baby's heartbeat is normal so that's all what happened earlier guys and i'm so thankful i'm so thankful that there's nothing bad happened to the baby please um uh, i keep praying for this that uh, god will uh, always uh, be with me and will take care of me and uh, guide me through all the through all the weeks and months of my pregnancy i until on my due date um i'm so i can't ask for more guys like our health is more very important for us especially to our loved ones our babies so especially on the babies and our belly so it's really hard to know that if there's something happened to them yeah that's why i'm so thankful i'm so thankful to god so now I'm, I'm gonna end my videos here because i'm just i'm just sharing my experience earlier that i was shocked to hear that from my midwife so i'm gonna end the videos here but uh but i'm i will continue the videos tomorrow because one of my uh my husband's friends at work i think she is a cne uh, her name is Nancy. I think so. If hopefully I'm not, I'm not wrong. So, she saw one of my video that I was cooking chicken adobo with rice, and she requested me to make a video with the rice. Like I'm cooking rice, what the measurement, the procedure that she can I to cook it perfectly. She want me to show it on my video to do it so i will do my best to do that because um it's my pleasure to do what uh, what you guys want like what what you guys um uh, want me to do or my husband or my family just comment below if you guys have any suggestions so i can do it that for you so tomorrow i will do rice and then i will give the information there so that to to those people who want to try to cook rice on their own they can do it so yeah i will continue this video tomorrow guys thank you so much for watching for tonight i love you all Mwah. good night hi guys welcome back to our channel so yesterday my husband uh, see something to me like one of his friends asked if I can do a video how to cook rice properly. So, somebody request that for me to do a video for that. So, tonight I'm going to do a video for that. So, I will show you guys now how to cook rice. So, we will start first. First, 
you're gonna wash the rice and then after you wash the rice uh, I have this cup I put uh, three cup of rice there so now I'm gonna use this cup but I usually use my I usually use my middle finger and the first line that's supposed to be the water until from from the rice that you're gonna stick over there so let me show you now one two three see Add a little bit. So I usually put three cups only. So you're gonna put like this. You're just gonna balance the rice, and then to make sure my second uh, estimate, like for the water for the rice, is my middle finger, like that. See, it's going into my first line. Now we're gonna put a lid and then ready for the rice cooker. So I already put in the rice cooker and the rice cooker have automatically a time timer for that. So I just pull it down and then it says cook and yeah it's gonna cook until it's done and then it's gonna it's automatically click. I I advise you guys to buy rice cooker so that it's easy to cook rice. So this is the rice gonna look like after it's cooked. You're gonna see here it's clicking up and it's just warm. So it means it's already cooked and this is look like. See? And that's it. <laughs> again, again, again. Last one. Do it again, sir. This time's got to count one, two, three, four. Make it money. Hey, what two colors is that? Yeah, my favorite two colors. One. One. Two. Make it money. <laughs>